What's up guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your 36th PHP tutorial and if you've been following my tutorials since the beginning you probably noticed a little small detail and that's that I have not made a new PHP tutorial in literally about two years but this morning I woke up and I was like you know what I feel like making some PHP tutorials so that's what I'm doing but I just want to give you guys that warning because that was two years ago and I don't have the best memory so I'm not entirely sure the things we covered in the past um, if we were working on any projects then you know you can forget about those because you know it's two years later my memory isn't that great so just want to give you guys a heads up that that was two years ago if there's something that I teach you guys and I'm going over and I didn't cover just leave me a comment and let me know hey you didn't cover this but anyways what we're gonna be doing in these tutorials from now on first thing we're gonna do blah, 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 blah. the first thing we're gonna be doing is working with object oriented PHP that's where we're gonna pick up and that's where we're gonna go from here so we're saying alright WTF is object oriented PHP Object oriented PHP is pretty much a different way to program than we were in the last couple of tutorials. Object oriented PHP has to deal with two main concepts, and that's classes and objects. Now, what a class is, is it's pretty much a way to organize your data. All your variables and all functions that are related can go in one class in an object is pretty much a way to access that class to get all the variables and functions from that class and actually be able to use them so for example if you were building a program of all the things in the world you would probably make a class for people you'd probably make a different class for animals and you'd probably make a different class for places or something now in order to access all those things you would need objects and if you create an object you can access all the stuff from the people class let's say and you can create another object to access all the variables and functions from the animals class so you know enough of me talking because you know I'm a programmer not a talker so let's go ahead and start programming the first thing I'm gonna do is make a simple class and let's just go ahead and use that uh, let's go ahead and make it for people so class let's go ahead and put it right there class people and by the way typically whenever you make classes you're gonna wanna put them in a separate file but I'm gonna throw all mine in the index and this is just for the simplicity of making this tutorial real quick and showing you guys how to make a basic class but anyways if you're like working on it for a company and building these classes you typically wanna put each class in a separate file and that's how people typically organize it but anyways like I said in this case everything is going in the index so anyways I have this class called people in order to make a class go ahead and type the name class and then go ahead and name your class whatever you want now anything inside your curly braces is gonna belong to that class so let's go ahead and make a variable in a function that's part of the people's class or the people class now the first thing you need to do in order to make a variable which is technically called a field when it's inside a class but I call it a variable but I just want to uh, tell you guys that because if you're you know learning this for a class or something not this class but like a college class and the word field is on your multiple choice test choose that instead of variables but this isn't a college course this is the new Boston so I can say whatever the F I want I can even say F how cool is that so anyways go ahead and in order to make a variable or field you first need to type a stupid keyword and that's public now these keywords and they have to deal with something called scope we're gonna be covering those in a later tutorial not this tutorial because we don't have time but anyways let's go ahead and make a variable called name by the way if you just can't wait public means every thing outside this class has access to this is pretty much basically that but anyways now that we have a variable called name let's go ahead and make another function that can you know set the name like set it to Bucky or Lisa or something like that so let's go ahead and make a function and of course use this go ahead and type that stupid public whatever that means we're gonna be covering that in uh, probably the next tutorial and go ahead and make a function just like you did before we'll name this function set name and pass it in the parameter X and now we want to say this alright 
we have a variable in this class called name and what we want to do is we want to set it equal to whatever value we pass in so if we pass in Bucky as X we want to set this variable equal to Bucky so how do we say we want to work with this variable I know what you're saying just go ahead and type name like that well with classes it's a little bit different in order to access a field in this class or a variable you need to type a special this keyword this means alright I'm gonna be working with something in this class what am I gonna be working with and now you're gonna to wanna to make a little arrow and this is another dumb syntax that you have to use but hey don't take it up with me take up whoever invented PHP and now once you have this and the dumb little arrow go ahead and type whatever variable name you want to work with and that's name and note that whenever you're working with it in this style it doesn't use the dollar sign the only um, time you got to put the dollar sign is with the this and that's it not on the name if you put it on the name you're gonna get an error or something weird is gonna happen so now that you're working with this variable right here go ahead and set it equal to that X value so check this out we have a class called people that has a variable in it and a function whenever we call this function what it's gonna do is if we pass in Bucky for it it's gonna say alright set this variable equal to the name Bucky or you know whatever your name is so anyways let's go ahead and in our body let's go ahead and do that right now actually I don't even know if we're gonna have time in this tutorial uh, actually we'll save this for next tutorial because I really hate running out of time so anyways in the next tutorial what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna uh, upload this to my website and I'm gonna show you guys how to create you know what enough of me explaining what I'm gonna do in the next tutorial just watch the other tutorial and then you'll know what I'm doing so anyways thank you guys for watching this tutorial and I'll see you next time